The Shivalinga statue is broken and there are various messages written on the holy structure indicating the level of negligence towards these monuments. Okay, this is a medieval Indian inscription. It talks about a land grant. Inscription has, you know, starts with a invocation addressed to the god. Then two things are compulsory. It must be there in all inscription. This is the, you know, carving of sun. This is the moon. This is the Shivalinga. This is the, you know, the Nandi, the bull, the Shiva's vehicle, and this is lamp post. Okay. So this meaning is this inscription will last as long as sun and the moon are there in the sky. And uh, the tradition to start with an invocation, and then comes the body of the inscription, and inscription ends with the in, in a implication. Implication is sort of curse, uh, curse. You know, if somebody misuses the inscription, they are going to incur the sin now, killing thousand cows in uh, Benares, or um, ca killing cows in uh, Shivali, a very holy place nearby. So uh, we have many this sort of inscription in Barco, maybe hundreds of inscription, but not uh, well kept. People, they don't have any, uh, you know, feeling to protect this, uh, you know, inscription. Some people have used the inscription uh, to their bathroom flooring also. They, are, they have put this for washing clothes, etc. The Chaulikeri temple is a twin temple with Lord Ganesh and Shiva being the deities. This stone structured temple is about 900 years old. It has a symmetrical line of pillars and a slanted stone roof as its basic architectural structure. This is something interesting from the architectural point of view is the, the, you know, the stone structure. This is a rectangular monument which is very famous for its pillars, symmetrical pillars and also uh, stone coating. This is something unique found only in the Barco region. Now in these pillars, they have carved many sculptures. These sculptures they have, they have taken from the Mahabharata and other epics. For example, this particular sculpture narrates the story of the Purusha Buddha of the Mahabharata. This is a picture, you know, sculpture of uh, Lord Bhima, and this is a picture of the Purusha Buddha worshiping the Lord Shiva, and also we have the picture of the Hanuma whose help Bhima takes in getting this showing. This is similar to a Jain style of architecture, thereby showing the obvious influence of Jainism. Jaina architectural style and the statues of Barkur are very unique and special. Almost every religion in history progressed into some royal or governmental patronage. Development and popularity of Jainism in Barakuru is not an exception to this. With the decline of Vijayanagara political supremacy, Jains lost their royal support. Another possibility is that when Barakuru lost its political importance, it lost its place as a centre of trade and commerce. Therefore, the Jains who played a vital role in trade and commerce in the Vijayanagara period might have left the place for better pastures. Barakur today has become a forgotten chapter in the history of India. The people around Barakur have very limited knowledge about the historical importance of Barakur and its monuments and ruins. Barakur became popular as a capital city. It became an important center when the dynasties were ruling in different regions. When the dynasties declined, this uh, Barakur lost its importance. When they neglected it or when they deserted the capital city, the capital city became insignificant. This Udupi became center because of religious importance. Yes. Even in the inscriptions of Barkur, they refer to this Krishna temple, they refer to the renovation of this Krishna temple, the grants given by the rulers. Barkur, which was once a provincial capital and a major trade hub, especially for the Portuguese and Arabs, is now a village that is slow paced and neglected for its historical importance. If a little more effort was made into maintaining and looking after these structures with the right financial aid, this town would have all the makings of being a tourist destination. <laughs>